you are getting Uno back tomorrow. <laughs> it has been so fun working with this little guy, but I have to tell you, he is one tenacious little puppy. Um, it has been really neat seeing the light bulb turn on for him. That's one of the main reasons I do this job is to just see the changes the dogs have during training. Some dogs in particular, you can see that they are understanding, my goodness, I can communicate with, uh, I can understand what these people are trying to tell me. And Uno's no exception. He really started to understand that we were communicating with one another. Come here, little buddy. Um, but with that being said, he also absolutely chooses if what I ask him to do is in his best interest. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean by tenacious. <laughs> so you guys, there are some really key things that I need you to continue doing and working on with him. And you're going to be okay over time but he is absolutely going to test you when you get home. So the point of this video is trying to set you up for success and I'm always here to answer questions for you. So first and foremost, I have used a success leash for Uno, okay? And what this is is just a ribbon for Uno so that I can make sure that I follow through with my requests with him. If I ask him to do something and he doesn't do it, I can go ahead and use his leash and redirect him. Another thing that I absolutely want you to continue doing, and this is so very important, is I implemented clicker training for Uno. And what this is, is a clicker is an object that makes a noise and tells the dogs, yes, you're doing a good job and you're going to receive a treat. Now, please understand, the clicker is not a way for him to come to you. It's not a way for him to do something for you. The clicker is a way of telling him, yes, you have done the right thing and you're about to get a treat. Uno, off. So right now he's on the table looking for treats. I asked him off. I clicked and rewarded him for getting off the table. He's just looking for treats right now. So a clicker is the way of telling him, yes, that is what I wanted. You're about to receive a treat. And with some behaviors, I want you to use really high reward treats to build, to continue building the reinforcement history with Uno. Again, he really decides of, is it in my best interest to come when I'm called? Is it in my best interest to go to my settle spot? He's very, very smart. He's very calculated with what he does. So uh, coming when called, I really want you to use high reward treats. No barking, I really want you to use high reward treats. Uh, the go settle is okay to use lesser of a reward treat. But high reward treats, I mean, you could go to hot dogs or cheese. And I have um, them it easily accessible or I wear a pouch with the high reward treats inside so that I can easily reward Uno when he is doing a good job, right? Yeah, so we'll go ahead and show off some of the things that he's learned. Good boy, Uno. Okay, so good down. We worked on down so much that he, he um, defaults to a down so i'll ask him to sit but he'll end up lying down okay let's go settle uno let's go settle good boy good settle so i reward him on his settle spot you might hear me using the clicker good uno down good boy stay good so he's doing really well with the stay. And you can see his ribbon here, <laughs> but this is okay. You guys, I tell you, he is so incredibly smart and he's going to see what he can get away with. So being able to redirect him with his success leash is going to be key for you guys. Good stay, Uno. 
So I use the settle spot to help him not jump, to redirect him if he's uh, super excited and he needs to go and relax. The settle spot is fantastic. Good settle. Very good, Uno. And then you can go ahead and click and reward. Good boy. Good. Okay, Uno, come. Good, come. Good. So with his recall, I'm using I'm using a little bit tastier treats for coming when called. Good come. Good come. Good boy, good come. Okay, Uno, down. Uno, sit. Good boy, down. Good down. That's a good boy. Good boy. Okay, go settle. Go settle. See, this is what I'll do sometimes. Like, mm, no. Uno, go settle. Okay, if he doesn't, look at this. I can go ahead, take him by the leash, and now he's like, oh, I can't get away with it. Good settle. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. So there's a great demonstration of making sure I follow through. If you guys don't follow through, Uno is just, he's going to quickly forget everything and go back to old behaviors. Good boy, Uno. Okay, Uno, come, come. Good, come. So I'll occasionally ask him to come and reward, even if I don't have, if even if I don't need him to come to me. Good, come. That's a good boy. Another behavior that I worked on with Uno is leave it. Good. Okay, Uno, get it, get it, get it, get it. So leaving objects alone, but I'm training this with a toy. Good, leave it, Uno. Good, leave it. Good, leave it. Because he loves to play with the toys. So when he brings it back, I ask him to leave it so he associates dropping the ball out of his mouth. Okay, sweetheart, Uno. Uno, let's go. Good, 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 good. Get it, get it, get it. Good, Uno, leave it. Leave it. Good, leave it. Good, leave it. And also what I'll try doing sometimes is, Uno, sit. Uno, sit. Good boy. And I'll put a treat out. Uno, sit. Leave it. Leave it, ah, ah. No, no, good, leave it. Leave it. Okay, get it. Good boy. So make sure he leaves objects alone when you ask him to leave it. That's a good boy. That's a good boy, Uno. So with Uno's barking, I've been saying, <laughs> Uno, quiet. Good, quiet. With his barking, I've been saying quiet and click and reward. And if it's too much for you, I would like you to close your front door if he's barking at people out the door. Good, quiet, Uno but I'll let him know quiet, click, and reward. Good boy, good quiet, good boy. Hey guys, I'm gonna be with you in just a minute. Good, Uno, Uno, Uno. Uno. quiet, Uno, quiet. Good, quiet, good, quiet, good, quiet. That's my good boy. So with the barking, you can redirect him by using the success leash and also your clicker and treats. Good, quiet, good, quiet. Very good boy. And now because I have to answer the door and I'm going to be occupied for a little bit, I am going to just go ahead and close the front door so that he can't rehearse his barking. Good boy, Uno. This is very good redirection of rewarding good boy. Clicking and letting him know he's doing a great job. Yes, you are for not barking. Good boy, Uno. That's my good boy. So to set him up for success, I'm going to close the door while I attend to what I have to attend to. 
So the key behaviors that I would like you to work on with Uno or continue working on with Uno is sit, down, come, go settle, stay, and leave it. Very important that you follow through. Continue using your clicker and treats as he transitions back home to you. And you might have to use the this for a couple weeks. I really feel it's important that we build this uh, training up even stronger. Some dogs, you can fade the clicker and treats faster, but I really think with Uno, he's going to need a couple weeks. So please go ahead and um, continue using the clicker and treats and use different treats with different behaviors. The recall, really use a high reward treat. Uh, other behaviors, recall and quiet, use high reward treats. Other behaviors, you can use a little bit lower reward treats. Know that I'm here for you. I am your trainer. Go ahead and ask me any questions that you have. Happy training.